Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third boy. In our today's video, we will talk about factoring perfect square trinomials. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So let's say for example, I have an expression x squared plus 6x plus 9. The question here is that how can we factor out or find the factors of this given polynomial? Or in as you can see, this one is an example of trinomial. From our previous video, we tried to factor out binomials. So we have here x squared plus 6x plus 9. So for me to factor this one, I would think of two numbers to multiply and their product is 9. And then when we add them, the answer is equal to 6. So if we have 9, so let me think of two numbers. We have 3 times 3, that is 9. And then 3 plus 3, that will give you 6. And also, I will try to find the factors of x squared. And that is x times x. So we can say that the factors of these numbers, of this expression, is simply x plus 3 times x plus 3. These are the factors. But to prove that this is the correct factors, or these are the correct factors, we need to do FOIL method and to check if this is their product. So let's try FOIL method. x times x is x squared. x times 3, that will give you plus 3x. Three, 3 times x, that is also 3x. And then 9 times, ah, sorry, 3 times 3, that is plus 9. And then adding the two middle terms, this will give you x squared plus 6x plus 9. As you can see, our answer is correct. That's why these are the factors of the given trinomial. But, parang padali yung ating mismong process kung paano ba tayo mag-factor out ng trinomials, we can use this pattern. We have x squared plus 2xy plus y squared is equal to x plus y raised to the second power. Because as you can see, x plus 3 times x plus 3 is the same. So we can combine them and make it simple. And for the second pattern, we have x squared minus 2xy plus y squared. So the factors are x minus y raised to the second power. So let's apply this pattern. Ang tawag nga pala dito guys ay perfect square trinomial. Sir, bakit po siya naging perfect square trinomial? So simple lang naman ginagawa dito guys para siya malaman ay perfect square trinomial. Una, get the square root of the first term. If you can prove that this one is a perfect square, so the first term is a perfect square. And get the square root of the, sec of the last term or the third term which is 9. The square root of 9 is 3. So since pares ng perfect square, so we can say na sila ay na ito ay isang perfect square trinomial. Pero, you need to check if kapag minultiply mo ba ito sa 2, ang lalabas ay itong coefficients na ito. Okay? So, 3 times 2 is 6. So that's why this one will fall under perfect square trinomial. So, though meron tayong factors na dito, let's apply this pattern. Kung kaya ba natin, para ba ginagawa yung pattern niya? So dito, to find the factors again of this expression, dito siya mag -fall. Sa first pattern natin, we have x squared plus 2xy plus y squared is equal to x plus y raised to the second power. First, get the square root of your first term, which is square root of x squared is x. And then get the square root of 9, which is 3. And then copy the operation of the middle term, plus, and then raise to the second power. This is the factor, or these are the factors of the given expression. Ganun lang siya And let me give you another example. Let me think of an example. Let's try um, 
x squared, okay, minus 10x plus 25. So before we start using these patterns, alamin mo natin if this one is a perfect square trinomial. So this one is a perfect square, yes, and this one is also a perfect square. And ang square root ng 25 ay 5, so 5 times 5, that is 10. Okay, so perfect square trinomial to. Get the square root of your first term, which is x. Get the square root of your second term. Square root of 25 is 5. And then copy. Copy the sign of your middle term and then raise to the second power. That's it. Ito na yung factors natin. Ganun lang siya kadali, guys. Okay? So, let me give you another example para uh, ma-challenge kayo or para mas lalo nyo intindihan kung paano ba tayo nag-factor out ng perfect square trinomials. So, let me have this example. Let's try doing this one. Sige. Try natin ito. For the, last for the last two examples. Let's use other variable para maging familiar kayo. Let's try having b squared minus 16b plus 64. For this expression, b squared is a perfect square. This one is also a perfect square. And the square root of, 80, of 64 is 8. So 8 times 8 is 16. So we have here 16. So we can use this pattern. Okay. Get the square root of the first term. B squared. Square root of B squared is B. And then for the square root of the third term, we have 8. And then copy. And this will give us the factor of the quantity of B minus 8 raised to the second power. So let's have another example. Let me have another example. Let's try this one. Okay. We have x squared plus 4x plus 4. Okay. Sige. Um, uh, this one is a perfect square. This one is also a perfect square. Ang square root ng 4 ay 2. So 2 plus 2, this will give you 4. Okay, tama tayo. Okay, get the square root of this. You have x. Get the square root of this. You have 2. Copy the symbol or operation plus 2. And then square the factors. That's it. So, I hope na itong ginawa natin video ay naging madali para sa inyo. Para masundan nyo on how to factor perfect square trinomial. Kasi napaka-importante na marunong tayo mag-factor ng, ng trinomials or ng given polynomial, lalo-lalo na kung tayo nag-aaral ng algebra. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye!